In response to DPM Heng's letter, which detailed his reasons for stepping aside, PM Lee has thanked him for his years of service. Mr Lee has also commended his exceptional work as finance minister. Mr Heng held various positions in public service for nearly 30 years before joining politics in 2011. Here's a look at the past decade. Suike has been an, uh, an important member of my team for the last 10 years. I'd like to thank him for his many contributions in MOE and MOF, and especially in this past year. In MOE, he led many groundbreaking initiatives, for example, promoting excellence in every school, and also in character and citizenship education. And in MOF, with the Committee for the Future Economy, with the Future Economy Council following up on that, and then the COVID-19 budgets last year. DPM Hing's gradual rise to full minister, though, started in public service, which he entered at 19. He eventually served as principal private secretary to then senior minister Lee Kuan Yew, and later as managing director of the Monetary Authority of Singapore for six years. Mr Hing was elected MP for Tampines GRC at the 2011 general election and appointed education minister later that year. Since entering politics, he has led key initiatives, such as the large-scale public engagement exercise Our Singapore Conversation in 2012 and the SG50 Steering Committee to mark 50 years of Singapore's independence. All of us felt that the, the very affable, collaborative, uh, consultative approach that... Uh, that is very typical of DPM, you know, that he, it, it typifies him. Uh, best represented the kind of governance approach and style uh, that the 4G aspired to. Uh, working together with Singaporeans, listening to them, conversing with them, working together with them. In 2015, Mr Heng was appointed finance minister, but a year later, he suffered a stroke during a cabinet meeting and has since made a full recovery. When the COVID-19 crisis hit, Mr Hing delivered five budgets to salvage the economy. It was a mammoth task undertaken by his team of fourth-generation ministers, who will now have to select another leader. We know that DPM Hing had made this decision with the long-term interest of Singapore at heart. And so we have accepted the decision regretfully. The decision by DPM exemplifies the qualities that we have long associated with him as a leader. Someone who is selfless, with a deep sense of duty and a strong conviction to do what is best for Singapore and Singaporeans.